New information tonight in the incident involving a reported armed intruder at a West Valley Elementary School. Yeah, that school in El Mirage went into lockdown as a result of this last Friday, and police ended up arresting three parents who were trying to pick up their kids from the school. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live tonight with the latest. Nicole. There was a lot of mixed reaction. Many parents feel that El Mirage police did a good job controlling a chaotic scene, but many other parents are very critical of El, Mir El Mirage police officers in this case, saying they were keeping worried parents who just wanted to get to their scared kids apart from their kids. Now, a total of three parents were arrested last Friday, and some of the faces they could uh, charges they could face rather include disorderly conduct and obstructing governmental operations. 22 year old Vincent Castaneda was arrested for obstructing government operations and possessing a deadly weapon on school grounds. 22 year old Jonathan Davis was also arrested for disorderly conduct and 48 year old Darlene Gonzalez also taken into custody. She was one of the two people that were tased by officers. She was taken to the hospital and released. Charges against her are pending. Fox 10 spoke with several other parents who say they are outraged and upset about the arrests. This is a prime example of why the badge is no longer respected because they're more interested in dealing with themselves instead of protecting and serving. According to El Mirage police, one parent tried to force his way past officers to get into the campus, and that's when the scuffle began. Two other parents tried to protect him, and officers deployed their tasers on them. After the failure of law enforcement to act earlier this year during the Uvalde school shooting in Texas, some parents are critical of the way officers reacted in this case. Instead of getting the kids out of the building because they didn't know where the situation was, they locked them in the freaking building with the problem. The El Mirage police chief responded to comments on the department's Facebook page. His statement said, in part, one doesn't get to create this chaos at a school during an emergency situation and walk away. If our officers do wrong, you can bet I will investigate and deal with the situation. And police say that armed intruder who set off the lockdown an entire incident was eventually taken into custody. He never made it into the school. He was caught trying to break in and did not succeed. So nobody was hurt in that entire incident. But uh, that armed suspect is now being evaluated by mental health professionals. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.